Hello everybody, Corey here. In today's video, we are going to go over the daily trades and holdings for Tuesday, June 18th. Just a reminder, I'm not a qualified, qualified licensed investment or financial advisor. I just gather data and present it to you. Uh, so you can, so it will help make your decisions. Um, and then yield max ETFs are extremely risky, so please make sure you've read and understood the risks here. So, yeah, so yesterday, well, I'd already posted the video um, saying I wasn't going to get the videos done yesterday. I was supposed to do them this morning. What I did yesterday after I got home and went to bed, I set an alarm, and then my husband and my daughter both made sure I got up at 11 o'clock to check uh, to see if the trades and holdings had been posted so I could save them. And I spent 45 minutes on that. And I even downloaded every single trade file for the old Max ETFs and there were no trades whatsoever. What I did not know until today is that Yield Max changed their the way they're doing their holdings or at least I assume they are or assume they did um, because now when you go to their website versus just using the link to the spreadsheet that was they've always used uh, there's a different spreadsheet now and the only reason I found out is because I had emailed Jay yesterday and he had responded back a little after midnight and he said he'd have to look into it and today I noticed that Snowy still wasn't working, so I went to the website uh, to try it again just to see, and the link for it was finally updated, but it was updated to a different spreadsheet that has all of the trades listed on it. And so if that's how they were, according, you know, retire on dividends, he did his video this morning. He said that's the way they were when he went to pull the trades yesterday, which, of course, I had no clue, right? So I didn't know that and did not get the trades for yesterday for any of the yield max funds. So then this morning I did the quick video here just to go over what they showed on the holdings. Now I can try to go back and an attempt to create something that's not going to be exactly right, you know, to see the differences between stuff. But we already had an issue here because there was also trades done on Friday for Ulti that were not posted either. And I could tell um, by looking at the differences between um, the holdings um, for Thursday and Friday. So we're a little... Um, off track on these now because we're missing two days of trades one of them being a major day of Monday so I don't know I'm gonna have to go back and figure out something but it's not gonna be a hundred percent here and it sucks because it's as I'm fixing to go on vacation so anyway I just try to give you an update as far as um, you know what has happened what happened uh, last night this morning and everything so anyway, you can see here, I have today's trades. They have a HUT 8 back here. And uh, so they purchase a stock and uh, purchase short calls for this week. Um, so you can see that data here. Um, and actually, we want to go through the daily. And I no, I didn't save the data. Of course, I didn't. Um, but anyway, this is the data here. Let's see. Did I, you know, I might not have added HUD 8 to this. I did not. So, I'm just going to. Okay, it didn't do anything. So we have HUT 8, which is just HUT. I 
make sure it looks like I do. Oh, it's because I'm on the the this one. I should have brought my computer in here. Come on. I apologize. I'm going to try one last time to insert a row. All right. Of course, it reset all those IVs now. that over and I realized I actually needed the one from this file. Alright. So let's just get through this real quick. Uh, of course, because I did something and I forgot to save this data, the IVs are now adjusting here. So it's awesome, of course. And as soon as I go to sort it, they will adjust again. And this, these two are like this because I have, they are, they were just added car, Kava group was added back yesterday and had eight today, and I need to <clears throat> add them to my actual key with the dates that they were added back and the IV from those dates. Um, so I'll have to do that. But if we look here at the top, we have uh, Ulti. It looks like it only went up one cent, which is 0.07%, while the S&P was up 0.25%. Um, when I sort that, um, I don't know, it looks like we're about 50-50, which I guess makes sense since we only went up one, one cent, but we have some down six, four, and three percent, and some up four, well, we had three that were four, six, and nine percent up there. So it's not too, too bad. Uh, but mobile I was down six percent, coin down four percent, space mobile micro strat micro strategy were down three <clears> percent. <throat> SMCI was up four, Vertif Holdings up six, and Arm is up nine percent. And of course, the only trades that we have here um, are going to be the Hut Eight. You can see all that data there, and then of course we have our net assets over here. Um, of course, I don't know what they were yesterday. Let's see. Yeah, I think I saved this data this morning. Just to look to see about where we were at the beginning of the week. So it looks like we're on average of $8.3 million at the beginning of the week. course with Mobileye and Novavax being down there but not too bad all right um so let's go to the holdings like I said we only had that one trade and all of these short calls expire this week so we have, now we have 19 tickers because we have the new one new one today I didn't go over. There weren't any outstanding shares different from yesterday. But if we look at from Friday to now, it looks like we increased 200,000 shares. All right, so let's go through these short calls real quick. We have ARM here, short call strike price, 165. And we are currently 6% over that because ARM was up 9% today. Um, so we are like $9.13 over the strike price. Uh, then we have Space Mobile here, $13 strike. We're underneath that 12%. Car Kava Group, um, $97 strike under 2%. Uh, Clean Spark, $19.50 strike. We are underneath that for $0.02. Cents. And then Coin, $2.55 strike under 7%. Carvana, 112 strike under 1%. ENVX, e -E -E 1250 strike. We are underneath that 4 cents. Then we have Hems and Hers, $26 strike. We're underneath that 5%. Pro 
Robin Hood at 23 strike under 5%, Hut 8, 1250 strike under that 4%, Mara, we have a $21 strike under 3%. Then Mobile Eye here has uh, two strikes, 31 and 36. We're under those 16 and 18 percent. Then we have Micro Strategy with a $1,600 strike. We're underneath that 8 percent. Novavax, um, $16 strike. We're underneath that 14 percent. Reddit, $61 strike, $61.50. Sorry, $61.50 underneath that 2 percent. Sunrun. Uh, 1350 strike underneath that 6%. SMCI, $950 strike. We're underneath that 3%. VRT, 92 strike. We are over that 4%. We're over at $3.34. And then we have Zim shipping with a $20 strike, and we're underneath that by 5%. Um, and then, of course, I've removed the uh, data up here because I'm going to have to uh, get some data in there and things updated over the issues that we've had for the last couple of days. Uh, and I'm not sure when that will be. So um, that will be cleared out until I can come to some kind of resolution there. Um, but anyway, thanks for joining me, y'all, and I will talk with you later. Bye.